Um, yes, so that this isn't going to be a tech talk, anything we've got. The purpose of this talk is basically to show you how simple it was for us to create our website and basically maybe to even inspire you guys as well. Um, a bit of background on me, like I don't know any code basically. Like I think if you talk to me about code, I would be lost very, very quickly. So it was really important for us to try and find a platform that would help us create a website in a really simple way. Um, and as I said, like I work in TV and film, like I have an animation degree, I have no website experience whatsoever. So it was really important for us to find the platform and WordPress was that platform. Um, now we've actually only been doing it since October. Um, me and a friend, all our conversations are pretty much about the latest movies, latest TV shows. And I don't know a lot about his life, but I could tell you his favorite Marvel character. Um, but all our conversations pretty much ended in we should have our own website, we should have our own podcast, the general guy thing of we should totally open our own bar. Well, this is what we wanted to do. So yeah, we just took the plunge and created it. Um, now with WordPress, like we use WordPress.com, and with WordPress.com it has loads of themes, which is really helpful, free ones and paid ones. Um, now I'm not a great drawer, but I had an idea in my head what the website was meant to look like. So I drew up an amazing drawing of what it was <laughs> going to be like, which obviously any of you guys would be happy if I can't give you that because it's so detailed and accurate. Um, so yeah, basically we wanted all our latest content to be on the home page. We wanted a featured section where the latest articles would sort of flip through. And yeah, when we went to go find uh, themes, I found it really difficult because obviously it all just puts dummy content when you're testing a theme. So I would recommend that you get a couple of posts, create your logo, get everything on WordPress, and then when you're testing themes, you'll be able to see exactly what your website's going to look like because it could look completely different from dummy test to like your actual footage. So when we found one that we looked like, that was our website. Um, and Basically, when we got our website, I thought customizing the website, that's when the coding begins. That's when I'm going to be on Google more than I'm going to be on the website, trying to find out how to do things, that sort of thing. But with WordPress.com, you have a great customize options. So we were able to choose our fonts, we were able to choose the site identity, the menus, where we were able to have like split it up into sections. So we had movies, TV, games, that sort of thing. And, and then we were able to like I said, we wanted a featured section, so we were able to create that and create a homepage that wasn't just a static one, that was had all of our latest posts on it, had our latest content. Um, and yeah, that was pretty much what it was like. So then when we were creating our blog posts, again, that's when I thought, this is where you need a page, you need a URL, that sort of thing. But with WordPress.com, was could not have been simpler. Just click write a post, and then you have all these customizable options with it. So you obviously write your content, select a featured image, and then you have the options down the side. You're able to choose the category, the tags in it. So for instance, for this one, the tags would be Avengers, Marvel, MC, Infinity War, that sort of thing, for people on WordPress to find it. Um, a great feature as well, which for us was to, it's able to connect to our social media. So we have Twitter, we have Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And through WordPress, we are able to select that this will go on Twitter when it's published. We're able to write the social media message, include all the hashtags, everything. And then once I hit publish, it'll go on WordPress, it'll go on our website, and then it'll go to Twitter. And it's really important for me, like I have a full-time job. This is a simple side project for me, just purely out of passion for films, that sort of thing. So that sort of thing was really important for me, just to be able to have all these time-saving options for us where we were able to do things just by the click of it, basically. Um, yeah. So another great feature of WordPress.com was the analytics, which is even more important. Like for us, it's important to see what articles are trending, what articles aren't. Like on this page, you're able to see how many visitors are on our website. You're able to see what they visit. And more importantly, you're able to see where they visited from. So if we put a Facebook post up, we put a Twitter post up, and if someone clicks that, WordPress will tell us where they came from. So for instance, say we put a Twitter post up and no one's clicked on the Twitter post. The wording of that, the hashtags of that, something might not be right. So it's important for us to realize this, go back to Twitter on our social media message, and repost that in a way that people will actually want to click that. Um, and then again, 
finding the articles as well. For instance, if an article is trending and where it's getting a lot of traffic, we can put that in our featured section and vice versa. If something in our featured section hasn't been visited in a couple of days, it's important for us to take that out because we need to have our more important articles right up front and center. So like this sort of analytics is really key in social media brand. Like all of our traffic is going to come from our social media because we're obviously just a wee startup. Um, so it's really important for us to know what's trending, like what the latest movies are, and basically to have all that latest content that is important for that. So yeah, I mean, this was just a bit of a lightning talk. Like I, I think everyone here has an idea in their head of a website that they want to create. They may have had like figured it out years ago, they may have just come up with it, and you'll delay on it, you'll hesitate on it, that sort of thing, but you should just do it. Like, I don't know how to code, um, but I was able to create a website. You guys do know how to code, you should make it way better, you should make your idea way better. Um, as I said, we only started this seven months ago. We have around 500 followers across social media, which isn't great, but it's good for what we're doing at the minute. Um, we actually get media screenings now, uh, for Northern Ireland, so we get to go to the movies for free basically, um, usually before the movies are even out, so we can review them and get sort of build hype, that sort of thing. Uh, we were invited to the Tomb Raider premiere down in Dublin as media on the red carpet. Um, unfortunately, we weren't really able to go because our full time jobs, that sort of thing, which was a bit crap, but it was still good that we were able to go. Um, we interviewed the cinematographer for Justice League which got us over 2,000 views on our website in a day and actually trend as well because something he said was picked up by other people and the websites that I go to normally were citing us as a source. So that was a really cool thing for me. And um, we also now run competitions as well alongside Movie House where we give away tickets for the cinema to see the movies. We just ran a competition with GamerFest in Limerick, uh, which is on next week, uh, which we're also going to purely on media passes as well. Um, we're in the process of moving from .com to .org, as I'm sure you guys know, like, it is a lot more customizable. .com does have its limits, but for us to set up, it was a great platform for us to use, and moving to .org, like, I've learned a lot today <laughs> from what the other talks have said, so it's going to be interesting, definitely, moving to .org, but it should hopefully be good, but... The main reason for me talking basically is hopefully to just inspire you guys to like, you might make websites on a day to day basis for other clients, but make a website for yourselves. Like you might have that idea. Just, and you are like, oh, but there's like, how many movie review websites are there out there really? Like there's loads. But if you're passionate about a certain subject and you enjoy doing it, because I enjoy writing movie reviews or talking about trailers, but you guys should just do it because you'll be able to build it over time and you'll be able to maybe do something successful as well. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it.